For more than two winters in Thailand we changed for bikes. Before that, by the way, I drove just a bicycle. My first bike here was Honda Zuma X. The same little scoopy and the heavy lambretta. Leave me a like. And my honey bun on the mall is Honda PCX. This is Honda PCX, and so far it's my superstar. It looks big and bulky, but it's actually very cozy and it's very easy to use this bike. It's perfectly managed and the passenger is comfortable to sit here. I know, compared to these baby bikes, it seems that it's big and heavy and it must be owned by a big bird uncle. But it's not like that. Even for me, with my weight and the zero experience, it was easy and comfortable to ride it. This bike feels quite light even though it weighed 130 kg. I just couldn't tune the lambretta on the heel once or roll in somewhere without outside help. But with PCX there were no such problems. In addition, it's smooth and it's also in traffic jam. In general, it's designed for a city. We rented it in 223 for 700 baht. Let's take a closer look at it. It was really cool folding passenger four packs. But the bike is open with a key. Now we can start it. You need to press the button and tune it. Tune it once. You can open the trunk or the bike tank for gas. Tune it again and the electronics turn on. To start the bike, be sure to hold down the brake and ignition. Here we have high beam, low beam signal and tune signal. Incognition button, energy lights, this button turns on in automatical mode, which will stall the bike when you are stopped. It can be turned on or not turned on. If it's turned on, the letter A auto will light up here in a standard mode. The handle is straight, so switches to another mode, you need to press it. Here we have already opened the trunk or opened the tank for refueling. The trunk is large and it fits a lot of things. Be sure to bring your driver's license with you. Documents for a bike are usually attached here. There is a secret tank here. There is a connector with a Type-C, you can recharge your phone on the way. On the toolbar, you can always keep track of the amount of gas in your tank. The tip. When you park on the beach, please, if possible, put a stick here, because the weight of the bike may just fall through the footboard in the sand, and your bike will lie down. If you are lucky, just on your side. If you are not, then on the next bike side. When you rent a bike right before you leave, I advise you to adjust the mirrors, so as not to get into trouble. We also bought this beautiful bag for trips to a new area. There is all kinds of lining here to keep the phone from handing out. It seems to me that it should be more reliable than just a regular amount, but it seems to me that the phone might fly out. Riding the go? So we bought this bag and it's not even bad, it protects the phone from the rain. In short, here's the first minus. It's very difficult to walk it on the go, you have to try very hard to press. Thompson and the bag turned out to still have a very bad minus. In sunlight, you will not see anything on the screen and you'll be looking for the way by touch. And by the way, let's go to the gas station and see how to refuel it. The fuel consumption of the Honda PCX is 2 liters per 100 km. The tank is large by 8 liters. But because of this, there really is no place under your feet and there is no hook where you can hang a water. We went mostly to the beach and to the store every day and we only had the gas station a week. You might not notice the first time, but the gas station have a column for bikes marked a special sign. There are often lines here, yes, but they move quite fast. The magic phrase at the gas station that you need to say it's 95 full, and the helper will fit you with a feet full cloud of 95 gasoline. 
In total, we spent 210 baht for 6 liters of gasoline here. If you suddenly forgot where you parked or can find your bike in this parking lot. And the Honda PCX has a wonderful button. Almost every such gas station has 7-Eleven. You can buy everything here. You can buy SIM cards here, you can top your account on your phone. And as a rule, there are also ATMs here. ATMs have a commission of 220 baht for any amount. And by the way, when you park your bike at the store, remember, the main types of marking in Thailand. Black and white markings are allowed to the park here, but you can park near the red markings. If you leave your bike here and a police officer arrives, he will block your rear wheel chain and you will have to go to the police station. Thanks for watching to the end. If the video was useful, you know what to do.